Hey guys, Steve, beautiful here, Devin, Mason. Today is the day we've been waiting for, but kind of dreading. We've got 50 meat chicks. This is our very first batch. Mason, would you stop it? This is our very first batch of meat chicks ever. We've never done this before. I've butchered chickens in the past, so I've got a little bit of experience with that. The boys have also helped me. This is a new experience for Miss Dorothy, so y'all pray for her. Yeah. Um, Anyway, we got 50 of these bad boys. If you guys have been watching the weather today, we have a category one hurricane just barely south of us. So we have no idea if we're going to get any bad weather out of it because you know, those lines can come pretty far up. Uh, we're about an hour and a half or so kind of northwest of Corpus is where our area is here in Texas if that, to give you guys a reference. So hopefully we won't get any bad wind or anything while we're processing all these chickens but it's early on a saturday morning the weather's actually not that bad out here it's probably in the 80s but we've got a couple of fans set up right there that are going to help us keep cool as well so i want to show you guys our setup real quick or uh devin how about you show us the setup yeah. tell everybody what it is this is our plucker we're going to pluck the chickens okay and how's it work um uh, turn on it This is the scalder. What does this do? This kind of helps get um, leftover feathers out. No. Nope. Helps cook the chicken. No. We See, don't want it doesn't. The chicken. Yeah, we don't want the chicken cooked, guys. Not yet. All right. So the scalder is for loosening up the feathers before you pluck. So we're kind of out of order here. The reason we are, guys, like I said, that hurricane that's not that's that's a little south of us right now. We wanted the scalder pot to be better covered, so we had to move it in some. Typically, the scalder pot would be there and the plucker would be here, so we're kind of out of order. So we're gonna have to bring them in here and then there, and then, all right, what's what's the next? Uh, this is the processing table. Processing table, all get right. All the guts, the head, all that out. Stainless steel table, it's gonna get the guts and all the other stuff, we'll clean it. it We've got... Ice chest full of ice. Ice chest that full of ice. very cold. Very cold, nice and cold. And here's another table with the sink. And it's the table with the sink. This is a cool little processing table, guys. This is for cleaning fish. They sell them at uh, Academy Bass Pro Shop. And uh, you just hook a little water hose up to this thing right here. And uh, I think it's gonna come in pretty handy. It's gonna go in the and then you can just put a bucket or something underneath but if you don't want the water just draining on the ground. Yeah, and then what's this over here, guys? This kind of is nice. Yeah, it's just our dry table. This is just where we put the stuff that we don't want to get wet because all these other tables are going to be getting wet. So we got knives. Look at all these toys. Yeah. Enough to cut your fingers off, right? <laughs> Nobody's going to lose any fingers except today, right? This. Yeah, except for that. Yeah, it sure is. Nobody's going to lose any fingers today, right, guys? Uh, right. Only you. Promise me you won't cut your finger. I promise that you won't cut your finger. No. I promise that... Uh, he will not cut Okay, let's not oh, cut any but, fingers off today, guys. Wait, Devin, All right. put your finger down. Yeah. Oh. No, the, these guys, I'm actually really proud of them. They they, uh, they both have pocket knives, and uh, so far they're doing really well, and they, they uh, follow some very good basic safety practices, always cutting away from you. Be careful where your hands are, things like that. So I feel pretty comfortable letting them try it out today. So by the end of today, these guys will know exactly how to process chickens, and they're gonna be able to do it all by themselves, right guys? What do y'all yep. think about that? Yes. I bet not many kids y'all's age know how to process chickens. Nope. Nope. A lot of them have no idea where chickens come from. They're like Walmart? <laughs> they're like Walmart? Nope. They come from the farm. <laughs> At least they do around here, guys. So Or ranch. Yep. So we're gonna get started. We'll keep you guys updated. We're not gonna show you any killing on this video for those of you that are worried about it. There's plenty of other videos out there that show you uh, humane ways to dispatch the chicken. So we're not gonna do that here, but we will show you some of the rest of the process and just how we do things. All right, so we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so it's already started raining. Mason over here is playing in the rain. <laughs> really? We got some chickens in the back of the 
mule over there. And then Billy just standing there. Billy's just standing there. So, guys, these goats, we bought, we built them pretty nice little shelter, and they use it for shade, but it's very rare they actually use it for rain. You know, goats uh, hate being wet, and you can tell they don't like it. They just sit there and just kind of get upset. But <laughs> they've got sh they've got shelter, but they won't use it. They just sit there looking upset. Yeah, they do. I don't, I don't get it. the smaller ones too. All right, y'all turn that water off. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like when we break one of them down. This was one of the smaller, medium-sized ones that we have. So uh, leg quarters, wings, tender loins, two nice juicy breasts. So far, it's going good. Yes, he there got it. Go. Good job, buddy. Like just now. Thanks. All right, we gotta remove the skin. There you go. One chicken down. Thousand more and to that go. goes in the cooler in the oh. I was hoping no, you that. didn't mean the skin. No. <laughs> All right, wait. You start rinsing that on the inside. Make sure you got everything. Yeah. All right, guys, we are on chicken. I think this is 16, I don't know. I kind of lost count, maybe it's 18. It's actually going really good. Devin is becoming a professional over here. Not quite professional. You're getting pretty good at it though. I'm not gonna lie. You need to do one. You're doing really good. And then Steven over here, he's the professional for sure. Guys, I think he knocks out like two chickens in like five minutes. He knocks out two chickens in the time it takes us to do one. I know. Because <laughs> you guys are slacking. Look at all that meat. Push it in. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> this is going to get filled up really fast. Yeah, well, we got another ice chest over there for whenever we're ready. How's it going, Daddy? What was that? <laughs> All right guys, so we've got 
about half of them done, maybe a little bit more. We haven't really been keeping count. You know, it's one of those things. It's like uh, how do you eat an elephant, right? One bite at a time. So we've just been we've been processing them two to three at a time, and we've just been going through the motions. So we've got uh, a healthy one here. This is a really good example of one that turned out well. Every now and then we're getting some torn skin from the uh, the plucker, um, but this one turned out pretty good. And I think this is probably dressed out. Of, we can go ahead and. Uh, yeah. You want to measure it real quick? We can weigh it. Oh, sorry, Devin. I almost ran into you, buddy. This feels like about six pounds. Okay. Off this All right, All right, let's zero it out. Let's see what we got here. Five point nine one six. That was pretty close. That was close. Yeah. About a yeah, six so, pound. So these are dressing out at about six pounds. There's on the small end, we had one, how, how much? I think it was like 4.1, 4 4.2. Yeah, we had one all the way down uh, to four on the small end to on the high end, seven pounds. So they've been in between that range. It's, it's odd how different the sizes are. You know, the roosters are gonna be a little bit bigger than the hens for sure. But uh, we've got a nice little range, which is great for us because most of these are gonna go in our freezer for us. So when we need a bigger chicken, we got bigger chickens in the freezer when we eat something smaller we can get a smaller one out where the ones that uh, break in the plucker or uh, they just don't look real good uh, because of like a leg broke or the skin ripped too much something like that we're we're pro we're uh, breaking those all the way down into leg quarters wings breasts and chicken tenders am i forgetting anything? thighs and the neck well the leg quarter the thighs oh part of the leg yeah quarter, yeah so we're breaking those down and putting them in baggies as well. Yeah. So right now, everything is going in a ice chest. I don't even know if that will fit. Ice water. And we're just kind of letting them soak. This helps them to bleed out. We do this for 24 to 48 hours. It also helps rigor mortis to pass so that the meat isn't so tense when you go in and uh, freeze it. That's it for now. You want to show them what they're doing or? Yep. They're almost done. This one's done, right, Dev? Mm -hmm. Well, here, let's grab it and we'll put it in the cooler. Can I finish what I'm doing first? Yes, yeah, sir. Mason, what are you doing, bud? Getting the letter. Oh. Gonna look done. See, see all the uh, yeah, so see front it. got some loose skin, that kind of thing. Y'all can trim that off. Make okay. it a little bit better. Okay, this part of the heart, Dorothy. That is the heart. Oh. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it is. Sorry, from here it didn't look like it. Alright guys, Mason's over there. I guess he doesn't want to be in the video. We hope you guys enjoyed this video all 50 of the meat chicks as you can see completely empty back here sad moment all 50 meat chickens are all you know processed and cleaned and there's actually two in the roaster for tonight for us to eat We've got some good meals really <laughs> silly boy mm -hmm. it's been raining all day as yeah. you know we said this morning there was that category one hurricane that was hitting had some strong winds rained not too much it wasn't too bad mm -hmm. i don't think it actually helped because it cooled it off. Mason! <laughs> it actually helped where it was only like 80 degrees. <laughs> I actually didn't even check the weather to see what it was. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>